Hey, this is Anton over at thehyperadvisor.com. Um, I want to go through a review of the vSphere iPad client from VMware. I've been using it for um, closely a week now and just want to go over some of my findings and and uh, of, of using the app. First off, um, if, if you haven't seen any of the information about the uh, vSphere client for the iPad, you're gonna need the, uh, the, the mobile appliance from VMware. Uh, you can get that over at the, uh, the Flings site for, uh, from VMware. Once you have that installed, you're gonna need an IP on it, of course, uh, preferably a static IP. If you plan on connecting to this thing all the time, your iPad is going to have to be on the same network. So if you're not on the network, um, VPN works. So if we go into the, uh, the, the general area or the, uh, the applications area here under the settings, you'll see that once you install the uh, vSphere client on your iPad, You'll have a place here where you can enter in that that IP address or name of, of the uh, mobile appliance. And once you have that IP in there, it's just as simple as opening up the uh, client here. So you get to log on to your vCenter server from this main page. Uh, one of my one of my things here is that you can't connect to multiple vCenters, but um, you can't do it with the, the desktop version either. So really, um, just one of my pet peeves, I, I'd like to be able to connect to more than one vCenter at a time uh, because we have such a large environment with multiple vCenters within our environment. Um, so I'm just gonna connect to this one. You put in your username, IP address, uh, I mean, uh, your username and password, and the actual vCenter server and then um, you're going to get hit with a the, the certificate error here you just want to allow this we'll hit allow and if this looks a little laggy I'm, I'm actually um, recording this using VNC on my iPad and I'm, VN, and I'm VPN into a network so if I was actually on the network, the performance of this here is, is, is actually quite usable. It's, it's, it works very, very well in what it does, and it's pretty fast. So initially, when you when you log in, you'll see the the vCenter server here at the top, you know, and it shows the version, the total number of hosts and VMs that are on that vCenter server. And then you'll get all a list of all the hosts that are that are right here at the bottom pane. And if you click on this on any one of the ESX hosts in the bottom pane here, we'll go ahead and do that. You'll get a nice little logo that shows um, if if it uh, recognizes the the vendor of the hardware. And as you can see, there's a little HP logo there. <coughs> the ESX server name and the, uh, the version and also the, uh, the CPU utilization and memory. Um, some other information about the ESX server here where you got the processor type, number of processors, memory NICs, vMotion, etc. And below you get a uh, listing of your, your VM guests. And they have little icons of whether it's Windows or, or Linux. Um, systems here and you can see there's one here with the red hat on it and it, and it indicates whether it's powered on power off and IP address as well which is pretty useful um, down at the bottom here we can also see that there is a, a performance tab and we'll see that along the ESX host and with the uh, VM guest and when you click on that you'll get a you'll get a, um, a trending of the performance utilization for the for the basic stuff you know CPU memory disk network going on here um, one one thing that I would have liked to see here 
is that you could pinch and zoom um, the the trending um, chart here so right now it you see what you see uh, there's no way to drill in or drill out on what you see on the screen here and it refreshes uh, every so often to update the information as we can see here uh, some of the tools here um, and we get the same tools whether it's an ESX host uh, or um, or um, where we have a a VM guest selected but you can from here you can just ping or uh, do a trace route on the network um, which could be convenient if you need them so let's go ahead and so we'll select one of the the VM guests and show the information that comes up here uh, you get the same same type theme as what you'd get if you were on a host at the top you're showing big letters the uh, the actual VM VM guest name the, the version of operating system that is loaded on there or at least configured within uh, virtual center and then the CPU and memory utilization there off on the right side um, you also get the IP address status and VMware tools and we can notice here that the uh, VM tools are out of date um, you get some event information here which is pretty nice if you want to go back and see if there's any changes at a glance um, at the top you have a little refresh button right here we also have a, a recent button button which is shown by that clock uh, symbol there and that's right here and there's also um, what look like a gears and this this gives you some functionality around uh, like it says you can suspend stop or restart your VM guest one good thing here is if you um, if you go into the environment you can actually search for a machine type and if you don't know and it'll actually bring up a list of systems um, as you're searching so that's that's pretty nice and when you and when you click on them it'll go ahead and switch to that actual uh, VM or or host and again in the recents here we're try it's they're they're actually tracking which ones you've you've been on so that you can quickly go back and forth from one uh, host or VM to another um, on the VM guest I can also do the performance here we can see some of the utilization going on so um, quick wrap up uh, this is their their first version of the um, the, the iPad client uh, vSphere client here and the initial go at this is pretty good I was glad that they did not charge for the actual iPad app. Um, especially given that you don't get a lot of the features that you do in Virtual Center in here. So um, to pay for an app that is, is sort of limited right now but it it actually came in useful again nice product uh, first pass make sure you download it it's free so can't see a reason not to install it the mobile appliance is free so that's it for the review again this is Anton don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and also check me out on thehyperadvisor.com